Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a plugin with the help of which you can showcase your team or if you want to showcase your team in your about page you can do that with super easy steps and this is a perfectly compatible with Helimenta that is the best thing about it so basically this uh, plugin is named as team showcase okay so let me give you a brief uh, overview what they are offering exactly you can just click on live preview to see what they are offering exactly to you and you can always come to the sales page and read the whole documentation section uh, which will give you a rough idea what uh, they have to offer you okay so this is the uh, sales demo page you can always see that this is the uh, kind of structure you will get uh, when you install the plugin and it, there are different varieties always okay so i will just try to install this plugin on our wordpress website and i'll let you know how you can make all the kinds of customization on your website so now the first step is to bought this plugin i have already bought this plugin and that's in my system right now so i'm assuming you have already bought it and let's go to the second step you need to log into your wordpress website so basically this is the wordpress website or the domain which i'm going to use is this video this is youtube.samiranclub.com so if you are guys are familiar i use this domain for my youtube video tutorials purposes okay so as you can see there is a cosmetic uh, beautiful looking e-commerce store right in front of you on this domain so if you want to make like e-commerce store with the help of all free accessories and elements do let me know in the comment section i will just make a video and tutorial about it uh, very quick soon okay so let's get started so first of all you need to log into your backend so to log into your backend you need to type a youtube.samiranclub.com slash uh, wp admin so basically your domain name slash wp admin so for example my domain name is youtube.samiranclub.com so i'm just typing slash wp admin and it will redirect you to the uh, dashboard okay so if you're logging in for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were uh, installing wordpress on your cpanel cool so moving forward on the left hand side you will see many setting options like there are a lot of options with the help of which you will be able to manage customize modify your website whole okay so let me give you a quick tour what exactly these are so under the settings uh, options you will see a uh, general setting reading writing disc uh, discussion so basically discussion uh, means that uh if you want to enable or disable the comment section uh, on a specific blog post you can do that and privacy uh, permalink so basically permalink is one of the important aspect you need to always select this post permalink so that the uh page name is uh, will be your url okay so cool let's save this and moving forward to the tool section under the tool section you will see a uh, import export tool you will see a wp reset tool that is an external plugin which i have installed okay so under the user section you will see uh, all users how many users are right now on the website and you can create new user delete new user you can assign different roles to user like if you want multiple admins on uh, a particular website you can have that you want multiple authors on your website you can have that right so i will tell you about plugin so uh, in the appearance section you will find theme the theme is basically the layout and the structure of a website how the website is going to look in the front end to the user which the people are seeing the website right and you can customize it uh, a widget area there are a lot of widget uh, menus you can always customize the menu section and there are a theme option and other all that so moving forward to the plugin section so today we are going to install this plugin right so basically plugin are some short coded script with the help of which you will be able to extend some kind of functionality on your website right so in short like if you want to install a certain slider on your website right then you need to have a slider plugin like one of the famous is slider revolution right so once you have it then you will be able to install a slider successfully uh, or for an example if you want a contact form on your website then you need to have contact form 7 plugin right basically uh, there are a lot of contact plugin as well you need to pick according to your so today we are going to add this plugin click on add new and by default wordpress provide you n numbers of free plugin as well but the thing is there are some kind of uh, differentiation between free and paid plugin so let me give you uh, a okay it's like as you can see yoast uh, yoast seo is a free plugin right now but the thing is their uh, main feature uh, key feature functionality is hidden and has been unlocked in their premium plugin like with the help of premium plugin you will be able to add five key phrases at a time right that is a great thing right 
so that is the one major difference which you get on like free plugin so i always suggest you if you have a small bit of money to invest at the very initial stage always go for a premium plugin and a premium thing that would really give you a great edge okay so let's upload the plugin uh, select the file here is the file i'll just click on install now so basically i have already uploaded the file and it will show some kind of error to me so i will just move forward to the install section as you can see it shows me error because destination folder already consists of that file let me show you i have already uploaded that file i just need to activate it as you can see it is already uploaded let's activate it okay it's super simple as you have activated it there is a as you can see there is an option called team showcase okay so once you click on this option then it will redirect you to the plugin option uh, okay so with the help of this section you will be able to create your own about section click on create widget and name this widget let it be like about or let it be team okay so here you will see uh, how your team section will look and here are the people you can add people you can name them so there are six people right now if i'm not wrong three three six okay let's delete some of them so that everything will be on a same page then we will have it okay right now we have two people so you can change their name their position here is the position and their address and contact information bio and social uh, signals right so if you want to name is anything like let it be rohit okay you can change it and you want the position to be ceo you can change that you can upload a new photograph of them you can uh, change the contact information by here and you can change the biography here is the short biography if you click one of them you will see the biography like c info and you want to sh uh, change the social signals you can do as well if you want to remove this just make it a hashtag or just remove it that will be gone cool so i hope you get this point and you can always group them into a slider or something like that where you can view all of them or you can make it a list or anything like that just i will not group them right now and you can uh, name uh, change the name of the widget like meet our team you can uh, call it something like about us right you can change that as well okay and call to action button which uh, page do you want to redirect this button to right you can change this heading name and the button uh, title as well so let me tell you how you can change the layout so right now it's a grid mode you can change it uh, to like cards right you can change it to like galleries you can change it to like list let it be like this uh, this look good to me okay and coming back to this you can uh, center align the text as well okay this is looking beautiful to me and here is the style option you can change the background color right now background color is transparent you can change the link color you can change the call to action button okay the color looks fine to me okay let's save it and let's try to implement this particular widget on our website coming back here now you will get a short code okay so you need to paste this short code on any of the pages which uh, where you want to implement this particular about section okay i'll just copy this short code coming back to my website as i am using elementor i have uh, some very good privileges to edit the page right in front of you right if i want to edit it i just need to click on edit with elementor and the elementor page builder will open right in front of you and i will be able to easily edit each and every section in front of you let me show you let let the page load perfectly okay as it is loaded perfectly if i want to add a section where i want to showcase my team i will just click here add new section and let it be a uh, html or short code okay i'll just put this short code here here is the option and i'll paste this short code update it and coming back to my website and i will just refresh it cool and let's go down and see that page has been updated or not as you can see this team section has been perfectly imported on your website right and the best part about this uh, particular widget is that it is also mobile responsive which gives you a perfect view right as you can see in mobile it's looking really amazing isn't it so i guess you really get my point what i was trying to explain you people okay so that's it for this video i hope you really like this video if you did just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one